creating feeds from your website of regularly updated content can be great for SEO and also makes a great user experience as well. But quite often the challenge is getting that data out into the, an RSS or Atom format and serving that content. Now there are a few services popping up such as Feedity that allow you to plug in a URL that returns HTML and this service will then do the legwork to create an RSS feed from your web page. So for example, let's have a look at this page. It contains two dates, but these two dates aren't available as a feed. So that seems like a great opportunity here. What we simply do is take the URL, plug it in here, and then what it tries to do is be smart uh, and analyze the content on the page to determine which of the items that you want to syndicate. Now, in this case, it hasn't done it successfully. Clearly, these aren't the items that we want to feed. What you can do, however, though, is an advanced refine. And what that, in effect, says is if we can capture something that makes this item unique, then it will generate a feed of all these items. So let's have a look at the source and see if that is the case. Okay, so we can see this div here of a certain class. So what if we take this as the item identifier. So we're just putting a start block and an end block. And yeah, so it's identified all of these as feed items. Great, so all we have to do now, select a category for the feed, click get, and there we go. We now have an RSS feed from that web page, which we can then subscribe to. And there we go, as easy as that. So that content can then be syndicated out to other websites and subscribed to by your website users. And if you use a service such as FeedBurner, that will go off and ping services like Google to inform them of content updates. Feedity is provided as a free account, which you can use for your personal subscription, but clearly if you want to syndicate the content out yourself, there's a premium and a pro product, which allow you to do the stuff that you really need to do, such as title editing, date refinement, and starting to handle a decent number of feeds with a good SLA. A similar service is provided by Dapper, which is a bit smarter when it comes to detecting the content boundaries. But I like Feedity because it's simple, lightweight, and pretty flexible 